Companies are required to secure rights to use a landowner's property through negotiation and payment for that right. The property, or right-of-way, remains in the ownership of the landowner, with the negotiated easement agreement structured to provide the company necessary access to operate and maintain its facilities. The permanent right-of-way corridor will need to remain free of most obstructions to signal to any passerby that underground utilities are present. Above-ground markers will be placed at locations such as road crossings and at various strategic places along the route to further indicate the presence of a pipeline. The markers contain important information such as operating company contact phone numbers and the commodity being transported. Upon completion of construction, the right-of-way typically may be used for most residential, commercial, or agricultural purposes, provided this use does not interfere with the safe operation, maintenance, inspection, and repair of the pipeline, or obstruct access to and along the right-of-way. Restrictions are documented in the easement agreements, but in general, permanent structures should not be placed on the right-of-way. Some examples of these types of obstructions include houses, decks, sheds, pools, and septic tanks. Also, tall vegetation or trees should not be placed on or near the right-of-way. Some items, such as driveways, fences, and improved parking lots may be placed over and across a right-of-way if they meet certain requirements to protect the pipeline. Always check with the pipeline operator and easement restrictions prior to beginning any work.